Today, we will recreate a cool title animation from a very interesting movie trailer, Gully Boy. It has a very raw flavor and has that street hip hop feel to it. So let's learn how to create it inside After Effects without using any plugins. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. All right, here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's rename this to main as this is going to be our main comp. 1920 by 1080. Let's make this 10 seconds long. And hit OK. So the first thing that we need to do is create our title and to create a title, we need to type in some text. Now in this case, you can go with any font that you want, but if you want to exactly follow this tutorial with the font style as well. So I'll mention the link to download all the fonts that I have used in this tutorial because we will be using five different font for different, you know, animation that happens at the end, but you are free to choose any font that you want is just I've selected this five font because I thought it was really looking good with this animation. So first thing, let's create a new comp again and call this text. Hit OK and you can select the text tool and type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in gully boy. There we go. For the main title font, I'll, I'm using the Sugar Pro Basic. Oh, Sugar Pro Classic. You can see this one, the Sugar Pro, the Sugar, the Sugo, Sugo, the Sugo Pro Classic Trial. And all the fonts are free fonts, so you can download it from the description below. There we have it. And that is looking good. Now what I'm going to do is I'll go to around, let's say three seconds and hit alt and close square bracket to crop that up. Or maybe let's hit control Z and what I can do is go into edit split layer. I'll go maybe a few, few frames forward, maybe five frames forward. Do edit split layer and I'll delete this. And on the split layer that we have created, I'm just going to change the font. So I'll select the second font that I have. That is the third rail demo. I'll hit control C to copy it, select the text, go right here and hit control V to select the font. Now, as you can see, the size of this font is different from the main title that we have. So I'll select it and just decrease the size so that it fits in and you can align it into the center. Now, if you don't see this align tab, you can go into windows and then check this section. So that is looking good. I'll place this back. Let's select this, hit control D to duplicate it. Let's position it. Hold shift while you position things so it snaps into the position that we want. Then for the third text, I'll use the sonder slab. So I'll select it and control V to paste the font. Let's see the size is looking proper. So I'm just going to hit control Z, hit control D again to duplicate it, go five frames forward and then select the Adobe De Deva Grief font, hit control C to copy it right here, hit control V. There we go. And let's see, so you can see we get this really cool look, but I don't think this font is pretty good or as per my liking. So I think I have selected a, a wrong font basically. Okay, so I'll go with a different font. I'll go with the Garlin. That looks much better and maybe increase the size a bit just like so. So I'll copy this and copy paste it right over here because that font was a wrong font. I'll select the KTF road brush, control C to copy it, select it, hit control D to duplicate it, go right here, select it, control V. So now we have five different fonts as you can see. 
but to give it a more interesting look you can see in the video they have used a different language as well which is hindi and which is an indian language so here i have a website in which you can you know type in any english text and replace it you know it's going to convert it in in hindi basically so first of all i'm type in gully boy hit enter so now you can see that it has converted it so first i'll select the first text so hit control c now this is not a necessary step but just to give it a really cool look i'm going to do that because we are following the design that the title animation has so i'm going to select this and increase the size a bit so it looks similar to the size of the boy and i'll go right over here and i'll select the second one that is a boy control c to copy it so yeah i'll select the boy section and hit control v to paste that up select it and increase the size so it's a, it is similar to the first text so now if i preview this you can see we have this really cool look to it but i think it's a bit too slow so what i can do is i can select this font and maybe bring them down two frames and then snap them holding shift and dragging it because i want them to be a bit fast yep just like so so yeah that is that and i'm gonna add the tagline and for this one i think we will go with our old and gold aerial bold what a rhyme that was anyways i'll bring down the size a bit just place it like that and there we go and right over here where the font starts animating i'm gonna crop that so hold so i can just basically hold alt and close square bracket and there we go there we have our text so now we have done with our text let's create a new composition and build up our grunges so i'll type in so i'll create a new comp basically and type in grunge hit ok now i have some grunge you know footages or images that i have you know downloaded from the internet and you can download this project file from the description which will contains all which will contain all the materials that you will need for this animation so first i'm gonna drag in this fourth image that we have and maybe i'll you know leave it just like that maybe place it in a different position just like so and here we also have some grunge i'm gonna just drag and drop it onto the top so we have some more randomness into the particles and then what i can do is i can select this fractal glass animation that i have so it's a you know very fast animating scratches of glass i'll change the blending mode of this one to screen also increase the time so i'll set the stretch to around maybe 180 percent just like so now if you don't see this stretch section you can just right click on this section go into columns and there you'll find the stretch section so now it's a bit slow you know i'm gonna hit control D to duplicate it and I'll place it somewhere around here maybe so we have this kind of animation in between and then what I can do is I can select the fourth layer hit ctrl D to duplicate it and make this a small section just like so hold alt and close bracket to crop that up and I'll bring this on the top and then what I can do is to give it a little bit of random look you can say I'll rotate this so maybe something like that and I'm doing this very randomly you can just take your time and you know come up with any look that you think looks cool I'm gonna hit ctrl D and maybe place one right over here so maybe I actually I'll place it right here hit ctrl D and place one right here just like so so now we have our grunges ready to go now what we can do is let's go into the main composition and drag in the text and the grunge comp just like so put the text composition below the grunge comp 
and then change the track mat of the text layer to alpha or sorry to luma inverted mat now if you don't see the track mat option you can just hit f4 on your keyboard and that should make it visible and now you can see we have this very interesting look on our text which is looking really cool actually so as you can see it's very simple and easy to create now let's go ahead and add some more details to this so i'll select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it just so we don't have any transparency then i'll select all the layers hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it and call this maybe title hit ok also i'll add a background so hit ctrl y call this bg a black background just to make sure that we don't get any transparency while rendering now we can start now we can go ahead and add, start adding some elements in the background so here i have some dust images that I have just you know these are very simple to create i have just you know used some photoshop brushes to create it and then um, exported a png of this but as i told you guys it will be in the description it will be included in the project file so you don't need to create it but if you want to create some rand you know some heavy dust particles or some abstract looks you can do that as well so firstly i'll select the artboard too and put this right over here maybe hit s and bring down the scale property to give it maybe a different look so something like that also you can just crop that up to make it really small hold alt and close bracket so now we have an element just like so maybe a pitch so something like that you can see looks really cool then i can hit ctrl d maybe go a bit forward in time and then place it in some different position maybe something like that you can also rotate it to give it a bit more randomness so you can see we have this really cool look then i'll add the artboard third one that is the artboard three let's scale this down i can keep it maybe something like that select the pen tool and just create a random shape because these are just dust particles so you don't need to be very precise you can just you know play around with some settings and try to come up with some really unique look crop that up so now you can see we have some very simple dust particles animating in the background so i'll select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it put this right here rotate it by hitting r on the keyboard and bringing down the rotation properties and i'll place one right over here so we have some very nice and simple grungy look so that is looking pretty cool i'll add one more really quick make this nice and small scale that down So we have some variation and detail into our animation place one just like so and i'm doing this very randomly so kind of an abstract effect so you can play around with it come up with your own style as well i'm gonna again duplicate this one as well let's go right over here maybe place it right here and rotate it a bit like that scale that down and yeah that is actually looking pretty cool now one more thing that we need to do is to create a very cool kind of a displacement effect and it is very very simple so i'll hit ctrl a and hit u to close all the layers then select the text composition and drag it on the top of our title comp so this text comp consists only the simple text no grunge effect applied on it and what i'm going to do is i'll hit alt open square bracket go few frames forward something like that and alt close square bracket to crop that up 
and then I'm going to displace it by using the arrow key. So I'm going to bring that just a bit to the top. So basically it's going to create a very interesting look. You can see really cool look that we have. I think it's a bit too much. So maybe I'll place it somewhere around there. Then hit control D again, bring this right over here. And this time I'm going to drag it a bit to the right, sorry, to the left. Hit control D again, go right here. And this time I'm going to bring it to the right. So now we have a very interesting look. And as you saw, it's very simple and easy to create. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative. Whoop.